It is Saturday evening, so it's time for the final update on the February snow and ice storm in western Oregon and western Washington. Now, for you folks in the central and southern valley, because this last day is mainly focused on the Portland area and you are out of the threat, I will still be producing a seven-day forecast with the timestamp on the screen for you to skip to there. However, the main forecasting bits of the video where I go into detail will be mainly focused on Portland and surrounding areas. So here are some historical records that have been either broken or tied in the Portland area, specifically at the Portland airport. Portland tied its snowiest February day at 6.1 inches. So far, we're at the third snowiest February at 8 inches even. There's a chance that that could change to the second snowiest February as that's at 8.3 inches. And the daily low high temperature has been broken again for Portland at 30 degrees, unless if there's a quick warm up, which is not what I am anticipating. Now, for event totals, based on what I've seen reported, now these are widespread totals. There have been isolated incidents where they have either exceeded or been less than what has been recorded. So for the northern and eastern segments of the metro area, on up north towards Olympia and Seattle, you've received anywhere from about 6 inches to 20 inches of snow widespread. Most of the 20 inch reports are coming from the coast ranges. Of Oregon and Washington though, though I have seen reports of 14 to 16 inches in the Salmon Creek area. In the southern and western metro area, you've seen a widespread total of about an inch to six inches of snow plus a tenth of an inch to an inch of ice. Some isolated totals above six inches, mainly out in the west, far western reaches of the Portland metro area and the far northern portions of here, and I've heard of a report out in Oregon City of an inch and a half of ice. For you in the Central Valley, it's looking like you've had somewhere between a quarter of an inch and an inch and three quarters of ice. The lowest totals have been around Corvallis. The highest totals have been around Salem on up to Canby with some isolated totals also in the southern reach of the light blue zone. This has been a historic ice storm, the strongest since at least 1979, for some of you, since 1971. Now, just to show you how much damage ice can do and how much that it sags on trees, this is only about half of an inch of ice or snow here in. Sherwood, but you could see here that the trees are really sagging down, making walking up really difficult without weaving through. And it's a little more difficult to see, but the power lines are also covered in ice, and there are a few small icicles on the power lines. This has caused many power outages, specifically in Marion, Yamhill, and Clackamas counties, which has recorded the most widespread power outage I've seen in my lifetime, which has been since 2000. Watches and warnings for the National Weather Service for tomorrow. The winter storm warning has been dropped for the Portland metro area, and the ice storm warning has been dropped for the central Willamette Valley. You are now under a winter weather advisory, for the central Willamette Valley, it's mainly for these northern portions, McMinnville, Newburgh, and Canby. However, most of the Portland area will receive some sort of wintry precipitation. Probably the only exceptions are higher elevations above 1,500 feet or so, as you'll be in a warmer pocket of air. The Columbia Gorge is still under a winter storm warning, as you'll receive another big round of snow and freezing rain. This slow will set up a little differently as this will come in somewhere between the Quinault Native American Reservation and southern portions of Vancouver Island. This will kill any easterly gradient that's currently left in Portland and will instead create a southerly wind 
that is more mild in nature. This has already started. Salem is currently above freezing as of 8 p.m. And eventually, as the slow passes through Monday evening, that will finally change the gorge into a more mild westerly wind instead. Now, for the totals that I am anticipating, again, this is mainly a Portland Metro event and a Cascades snow event. Now, there has been some returns of snow on radar down to about a line between Damascus and Tigard right now. I think that that line may sag a little further south. I am keeping the snow totals a little aggressive just in case if a stronger band of precipitation does come in. And plus, computer models have been showing right about at half of an inch of liquid equivalent through Sunday evening. That would equate to about five inches of, of snow or a quarter or, or a half of an inch of ice. So for western and the southern portions of the metro area, it's looking like you'll receive most of you less than inch of snow, some of you two, up to two inches, although I don't think most of you will receive that. And then up to a quarter of an inch of ice, you will transition out of this tomorrow and go back into plain old cold rain. For you in the northern and eastern portions of the metro area, the western portions of the Columbia River Gorge on up to Kelso and Longview, you could see up to four inches of snow. The four inches of snow, however, will mainly be constrained to the Kelso Longview area and the western regions of the gorge since the cold air will be deeper for longer periods of time there. The northern eastern portions of the metro area will most likely receive less than two inches of snow. Most of you probably less than an inch of snow. You will also receive up to a quarter of an inch of ice. The western gorge, you may have ice for a little longer before, before you transition into rain either Sunday evening or sometime on Monday morning. The data and computer models have been showing conflicting information on that. Now, on to the seven-day forecast. First, for the Southern Valley, like I said, you will be out of the threat completely. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, rain showers gradually diminishing. I don't expect much after about Tuesday at midday. Wednesday will be your lone dry day before going back into rain for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Highs relatively normal, spanning from the mid-40s to the lower 50s. Slightly below average, but much more pleasant than a big old ice storm that you just experienced. Now, for the Portland area, one more day of this is all that we have left. I still have it at 34 degrees. However, that really depends on where you're at in the metro area. If you're far east metro, it's a good likelihood you will not get above freezing. But if you're in the southern portions of the metro area, you may break 40 degrees tomorrow. Monday, isolate pockets of freezing rain, mainly in the far eastern portions of the metro area. Maybe some around Kelso and Longview, though I'm less confident about that. With highs finally reaching above 40 degrees for everyone in the metro area. Showers ending on Tuesday around midday as well, but probably a little later than the South Valley. Wednesday, also the only dry day before going back into rain and rain showers for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday's highs mainly in the mid 40s with the exception being Thursday at 50 degrees. So this is my final update on, on this. As I don't do daily weather updates because I am a university student at Oregon State University, that is my primary job and I don't have time to do weather updates on a daily basis. So if you want to continue doing weather updates, please tune into your favorite TV station or look up official information from the National Weather Service for your local area. Otherwise, the next time I will be making a video will be a recap of my winter weather predictions at around March 1st to see how well I did for the entire season. 
Now, other than that, please still take it easy. Roads will still be treacherous in the Portland area for another day. Otherwise, I will talk to you all around the 1st of March. And take care.